For this trick, you'll need to have a clicker, some high value treats, some post-it notes, some duct tape is helpful as well, a dog, of course, a flat surface such as a wall or bed, and a tall surface that can stand on its own. To start this trick, you want to place a single sticky note on a flat stationary object. In this first step, basically hold a treat in front of the sticky note. Click when your dog reaches for the treat and be sure that the placement of the reward is in the opposite direction of where the sticky note is. Gradually fade out your hand by rewarding whenever your dog makes any movement towards the sticky note's direction. Put a second sticky note onto the tall object. Now just focus on teaching your dog to comfortably touch the new sticky note using the same methods as before. Once your dog can do that, then bring the tall object somewhat close to the stationary one as what is seen in this clip. Have your dog go in between the two sticky notes and then let the dog choose as to which one to touch first. Click no matter what your dog chooses. Touch. Good girl. The key here is not to give any physical indication as to which one to go to so that your dog does not rely on any hand signals. If your dog starts to repetitively touch the same one multiple times, only click once for the first touch, but do not click again until your dog picks up on touching the opposite one. You may need to help your dog out with verbals with this, but try to avoid any type of hand signal. Once your dog has reached this point and is fully comfortable with shaking their head back and forth, then it is fairly easy for this step. Move each sticky note one at a time, and if your dog is confused at any point, just put them back again for a little bit. Good girl. Keep doing this one. Okay. Okay, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. You may also want to start cueing in the particular word that you want your dog to shake their head to if you have not previously done so. Okay, go back. Good girl. As with the previous step, this is not a very huge transition if your dog is fully comfortable with the trick to this point. As before, bring the tall object back if need be. For this last and final step, basically randomize when you click the clicker. It could be every two head shakes, every other, or the first one and the last, whatever you would like as long as not too many repetitions as to motivate your dog. Yes. Ideally, you want to eventually be able to ask your dog a question and have them shake their head no over and over until you reward. Yes, good girl. Okay, go back. Mm. Good girl. Good job, Splash. Want to bath? Do you want to bath? <laughs> Good job. Good job. Okay, want to bath? Good girl. So well. Go. Cool. Want to bath? <laughs> girl. Do you want to bath? Do you want to bath? Do you want to bath? <laughs> You sure you want to go? Good girl.